The following program is an accurate depiction of prison life, which some viewers may find intense. And the fights come hard and fast. The prison has more attacks on inmates and staff than any other facility in the state. 400 incidents and counting in 2010 alone. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, then, wow, man, have you been missing out. And for the others, welcome back, brothers and sisters, and all of those in between. Today's episode is going to be a bit different, as we're going to take a look, see, at a prisoner in an Ohio State prison called the Ross Correctional Facility. And why would this channel create an episode on a captive? Well, this captive is someone who is infamous on YouTube on a series called Lockup. So what makes him so famous he's infamous? Well, I'll let Bullfrog himself explain all that. Welcome to Ross and the people that you meet in your neighborhood. And some confrontations are extreme, like this one involving an inmate armed with a spray bottle filled with feces and urine. Allow me to do my job and my staff to do their job, okay? What's going on? Tell me. You had a spray bottle, and, and you continued to try to spray my staff with feces and urine, and you, you continued to refuse to cuff up, so we had no alternative but to extract you at that point. You had every opportunity to come out, correct? Once they come in the cell with you, I ain't got no, I, I didn't even try to resist them. Mm -hmm. I didn't use force against them, they used force against me. What about the shampoo bottle you had full of feces and urine that you sprayed on my team? Well, that, that did catch fire. With members like William Sams. I'm an Aryan God, man. They'll never break me. My spirit's too strong, man. I let these dudes break me, because that's what they want. A whole bunch of zombies to walk around here scared to death of them. I'll never, you know, it's not, it's not having me fear no man but myself. That's who I fear, myself. Sam's, AKA Bullfrog, is on his way to a segregation unit already crowded with recent troublemakers. Gave me assault on a police officer. Bold Bro. got into an argument with an officer that escalated into an assault. We get in there and he's like, uh, he's barking. When a tells you to do something, you do it. I'm sick of you skinhead. And I said, well, that's good. And he said, what? I said, cause I'm not a skinhead, you know? And, and he got, I guess he got a little mad. And before you know what's happening, it's it's too late, man. Do what you gotta do, cause I'm gonna do what I gotta do. And I'm gonna stand on these two feet, man. Regardless of where I'm at or who it's against. And there's no more, there's no more boundaries, dude. I'm not Jesus. Jesus turned the other cheek. I'm I mean, I'm not, I'm not bull Frog. Bro, you hit me, I'm gonna tear your ass up. Gangs run everything. Everywhere you go, you ask anybody, and it's a gang that runs that joint. I've been in extortion, you know, I've, I've uh, taken hits for people, I've, you know, to make money, you know what I mean, to get what I need, certain things I'll take from, you know, I'm a predator, man. I am at the top of the food chain. 29-year-old William Sams fashions himself the quintessential gangster. He's white and violently proud of it. And in here, that's what you shoot for. You get your hands in everything. You get your hands in the dope. You get your hands in the black market. It's all about, you know, making money and, and controlling that part of the prison, man. I could lay back and relax, but I like what I do, you know? I enjoy fighting. I enjoy getting in trouble and partying and getting drunk and beating up black dudes. And that's my thing. That's, I enjoy that. And with that change, a new name, Bold Frog. It takes a lifetime to build a reputation and, and to earn respect. It only takes 10 seconds to lose that, you know? A nanosecond, you can become a just like that. In 2005, William Sams got into a drunken brawl with another man, stabbing the victim to death with a broken beer bottle. He was convicted of felonious assault and manslaughter 
his sentence will keep him behind bars until he's 40. A perfect mark for the gangs, young and angry with a long sentence and nothing to lose. I have been fighting left and right, you know what I mean? Because that's, that's what I do. And Bull Frog is as ambitious as they come. There's only two kind of people in here, it's predators and prey. You know, and I consider myself, I'm not, you know, I'm not arrogant or nothing or being, you know, funny, but I'm at the top of the food chain, you know. Fight, stab, I mean, stab mostly. You know what I mean? If you're not willing to stab something, then don't even approach me. Because uh, that's, that's what we do. That's putting in work. You know what I mean? That's gangster <laughs> Dirty white gangster. You're not going to disrespect me and you're not going to dog the people I'm loyal to because, you know, by any means necessary, I'm going to come get you. Any disrespect will kill it right there. Anything tarnishes your reputation, anything. It takes years to build that, that respect and that, that, you know, integrity from people. And it only takes 10 seconds to lose it. But once you lose that respect, you're, you're at the bottom of that food chain. And then it's all bad. The question of respect is what landed William Sams, known as Bull Drug, in the hole for fighting. You gotta not give a f by getting beat up and getting your face bashed in. I don't give a f You know what I mean? Sucking so uh, all this other f I'm zero tolerance, man. I go zero to 90 in, in one second. I've been gone for so long that most of my people are, you know, they're moving on. You know, and I can't fault them for that. They don't even know me anymore. You lose that, the family on the street. So when you click up in here, that's your family in here. You know, and the, and the same values are incorporated there. You know, the loyalty, the love, the trust, the respect, and it makes you want to become a part of that. Just like on the street, the Ohio prison system has laws, rules of conduct that can't be broken. And if Bold is found guilty of these new charges, he'll earn a trip to the jail within the prison system, known simply as Lucasville. Coming into this setting, it's, you know, pretty overwhelming. When they step off the bus, they, they see our presence and they see us not backing up. And it's not an issue where we're trying to be macho or hard. That's just the way it is. We want to let them know when they call the bus, this is our prison. And when you come here, you've already gotten in trouble with your prison. Now you're going to have to learn how to behave. Entering a new world and doing time. Intake at Lucasville is the inmate's first taste of maximum security. And with it, the loss of the relative comforts of general population. Any kind of cup with a handle they can't have, a surge power cord they can't have. Purple, purple stuff like this they can't have you. A purple blanket, purple t-shirt, they can't have either one of those. Any item of any color not issued or sanctioned is put in storage. At Lucasville, it's not about the crime that got you to prison. It's about the rules you broke once inside. Segregation, the hole at Lucasville. The hole for the entire state with limited privileges and little movement. Break the rules and the clock on leaving 4B resets. Tow the line and move to level 4A and a chance to leave Lucasville. It's rigid control, dictated by the kind of inmates who come here and overseen by Warden Donald Morgan. Every facility, you'll have 1% of the offenders that do not want to follow policy and procedure. Uh, they disrupt the normal operations of that institution. I had that little altercation up here. Essentially, Lukesville's made up of everybody's 1% and gives me a total of 100% of your inmates that does not want to follow the rules and regulations. At a level four facility, we control every movement of an offender. Everywhere an offender goes, uh, his, his movements are under constant uh, security supervision. 
It's discipline and control that translates to the hardest time an inmate will face in Ohio. It's Lucasville. <laughs> it's a unique beast, that's all I can say. At Ross Correctional Institution, Bold Bruh. is headed to prison court and a rules infraction board hearing. How you wish to plead to this rule for a violation? Not guilty. I'm never going to plead guilty. Are you guilty or not guilty? Uh, well, I'm, yeah, I'm guilty. They could catch me with it in my hand. Not guilty. I know the rules of the game, man. They got eight hours to catch me. I got 24 hours to beat them. You want to tell us about this conduct report, Sam? Yeah, I mean, just so... Uh, I mean, I didn't touch him at all. So at no time you, you struck this officer? No, sir. They took pictures of my hands. They took pictures, you know what I mean, of him, I guess. I don't know. But I didn't touch that man at all. Okay, well, I'm looking at the medical exam that uh, was done on him. And it's showing an abrasion to his facial area also. I mean, I didn't touch that man. These hearings play out daily throughout the prison system in Ohio. And just like in the civilian court, inmates call witnesses. Tiny says, uh, stand up, come with me. He starts screaming, he hit me, he hit me. And, uh, and then uh, Tiny comes running up out the back. And uh, I look at Tiny, man, I ain't seen nothing wrong with Tiny. But under cross-examination, Bulldog's defense starts to crumble. <laughs> but actually, in no time, you've seen that the incident happen. No, sir, I did not. I did not. Adam, Todd, Truby. 519-631. Could you tell us a little bit about this uh, conduct report or if you know or witness anything? Um, I don't want to make any statements, please. One of my witnesses came in. He's a little You know what I mean? He's got no heart. I got no respect for dude no more. Whatever. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You stated that you didn't touch the officer. Uh, our rebuttal was, we believe you did strike the officer. Bold Prague is found guilty. It is a verdict that puts him one step closer to a transfer. One step closer to Lucasville and a radical change in the way he'll do time. At the Ross Correctional Institution, Bold Prague has been found guilty in prison court of attacking an officer. One of the most serious offenses behind bars. Now the administration may raise his security level to 4B and ride him out to Lucasville. We're gonna do your transfer hearing today. We're gonna start it as a 4B hearing. We'll see whether we finish it as a 4B or finish it as a level 3. Today's hearing is about determining whether Bold Prague. actions make him a security threat. And the numbers he's accumulated on his prison rap sheet are already working against him. <clears throat> First, uh, go to findings by RIB. That's a yes, that's two points. Local control placement within the last 12 months, that's what you're currently in, is local control. So you get three for that, and then most recent violence indicator, that was your rule four. So with that, tell us why you think you should or should not be placed in uh, level 4B. All this happened in, like, in, you know I mean, a span of six, seven months. But there's only one real severe charge here was the rule four. In order to be considered for level 4B, you have to meet at least one of these um, eight criteria. I'll give you a copy of this. You've met three of the, three of the eight. You only have to meet the one. I am going to make the recommendation level 4B, Mr. Stanley. I agree. With that, you have a right to appeal this. No, nah, that's a waste of time. No like, appeal? No. Nah. All right. You know what you got coming with me. There's a certain line you're going to cross, and you got to watch that line, because if you touch it, it, it doesn't matter who you are, I'm going to flare up on you, period. It's a selective process how you guys choose who you get 4Bs to. Dudes that have 10, 12 points refuse and lock and, you know, get caught in homosexual activity or whatever, whatever they do, but... And I'm gonna stand on these two feet, man. Regardless of where I'm at or who it's against, you know what I mean? I beat up a CO 
but then I'm a bad guy. I don't bar that. I'll come back and get him again. You've earned another conduct report. I ain't mad. I know you don't. Write five, write five more of them. Yeah. For threats. Okay. Okay, we're write done. Ten, okay. We'll write 10 tickets. Send one of them to my mom, tell her I said I love her. If you need a pen, I think I can find you a pen to write that ticket with. Thanks, I've got my own. Man, that dude can eat my His best bet be to get me the out of here as fast as he can. I don't care about going home. I don't care about none of that, man. You're gonna respect me. Whether you got that shirt on or not, you're gonna respect me, man. I demand respect, and that's what I do. You know what I mean? Let's let's gas the bus up. Oh. At Ross Correctional Institution, Bold Frog is entering his sixth week in the hole after assaulting an officer. A serious offense behind bars, and one that has consequences. Word has just come down. Bullfrog is headed to Lucasville. What would be a punishment for most, though, is a homecoming of sorts for an bullfrog. That's our house, man. You know what I mean? That's that's the hood network. That's that's where we go. There's so many of us there that anywhere you go, you're gonna have five or ten of y'all in the same area at all times. Boom, 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 everybody. It's, it's, it's great. It's good times. And you know, Lucasville's got its own personality. It doesn't matter what you're doing to get to the joint, you know what I mean? It's about how you carry yourself once you're already in the joint. You know what I mean, that place thrives on reputation inside the joint. Sometimes I sit in there and think about it, you know, like, uh, I don't know if Lucasville's the right place, like, cause it sucks, you know, it does suck. It's an emotionally and, and mentally challenging place, man. It takes away a part of you that you don't ever want to lose, man. You know what I mean? That shine, and it, it dulls that. Because it makes you rough, it makes you, you know what I mean? You're arrogant and angry all the time. You know, that's why I try to smile as much as possible around and goof off because if you lose that part of you then you're, it's you know what i mean it f your life up you, know, you only get one shot the bus is pulling up with another fresh arrival bullfrog is coming home yeah there has to be authority and i respect that to an extent but i'm not gonna live my life Based on somebody else's guidelines, man, ever. Ever. You know, it's just not happening. I made some mistakes that caused me, you know, to be behind the wire, but it doesn't change the fact that, that you know, I'm a free spirit, man. I'm going to do what I want to do. These, these right here would not hold me. They can't stop me. There's no weakness in me. You know, like if you see a pack of wolves and you see one that's hurt, they they get him out of the pack because he's weak. You know what I mean? The strength of the pack is the wolf. So what they do, they cut him loose. You'll never get that with me. You know what I mean? You'll never. I'm an I'm a animal. Too. 
we'd just like to say thank you to Mr. Bullfrog for his wise and thoughtful words of advice when it comes to prison life. That you never plead guilty until you do. That you always stand on your own two feet unless you're bitching and using the old what about those guys mentality. And finally, and most intelligently, make sure you scream at the man that he'll never take your freedom while you're locked in a cell speaking through a little hole in the door. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and all of those in between, don't go to prison for no matter how enticing Mr. Bullfrog seems to make it look like. In reality, it just fucking sucks. Now, if you'd like to meet more of the people in this neighborhood, then please like this video and why not leave a well wish for Mr. Bullfrog in the comments. Right, <laughs> that should do it for this episode. To all ears, stay safe. Stay safe and stay the fuck out of prison. Okay, go keep that. Oh yes, one last thing, ladies and gentlemen, and all of us in between. Uh, if you haven't seen the series, long story short, then click on the playlist here on the screen right now. God bless.